In New York City, 40 Riverside Drive on the Upper West Side, it's near my old stomping ground. Uh, they are putting up a building that is going to have a separate entrance for the lower income mm. people. Yeah, this mm. is not made up. It sounds made up. Separate but equal? Uh, I'm not well, sure. I mean. uh, so basically, they're putting up this building. Uh, it is being built by a company called Xtel, and they're going to have a certain amount of affordable housing, which sounds great. And the reason they're doing this is if you put in some affordable housing, then they let you build bigger buildings. So that sounds good to them. They want to make more money. Uh, but the people that will be living in the affordable housing will also not have access to the gym, not ha have access to the pools. Yeah, two. There's more than one pool there, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And the affordable housing tenants make 60% or less of the median income. Uh, and we've got some, uh, some more info on it. Uh, the city approved a proposal from Xtel, a New York City developer, to install separate door for tenants living in affordable housing units to enter the building. I can't believe we're not making this up. Xtel applied the inclusionary housing program, which allows developers to construct bigger properties if the property includes affordable units for less wealthy tenants, as I just said. And it's going to be 55 units that will be designated as affordable housing facing the street and uh, 219 units will face the river. So also, if you get the affordable housing, uh, you don't get the good view. This is obviously completely bonkers, but is this one of those things where sort of well-intentioned plans just go completely awry? Like the idea, we were gonna have affordable housing on the Upper West Side, Riverside Drive, nice area, uh, and then it just becomes something terrible. I just, uh, you know, when I, when I see a story like this, I'm like, man, it is about time, right? Because I am so... <laughs> How can we, can, there's, is there a way for millionaires to insulate themselves from the penny list? I hope so. Yeah. I really hope so. And I hope those people don't start buying houses and crash our economy again. That's the poor people buying the, anyway, it's a, do we need, this is, this is not a bad idea gone bad. This is a good idea, but then the uh, capitalists got involved. So right. this is a socialist idea from the government saying, hey, if you're going to do this thing and we're going to give you this amount of property and you're going you're gonna to have to help out people, mm -hmm. turns out. You're going to have to actually be living in the community. Yeah. And so they go, hey, we can find a loophole and we can actually stick our thumb in the eye of poor people and humiliate them, which is what you're supposed to do if you're rich of course. and you're uh, a developer, natural, right? Natural. I enjoy it. Right, because in America, if you have money, you're obviously a great person no matter how you made it. That's a sign of you're a worthy person. That's and if why you're, I'm scum. He, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're poor, it's a moral failing in America. That's how we look at it. It's the opposite of what Jesus said. Again, yeah. I'm scum. I, yeah. I know this from personal experience. Total godless scum. <laughs> yeah. Soulless. Soulless. Um, yeah, completely. Yeah, separate entrance. It's literally like a terrible episode of Downton Abbey. When I read this story, I was like, what year is this? Are you kidding me? Is this the, the so that's the servants' that's quarters and you come in through the back and I, I, I was livid initially and then I got to reading more about it and I was like, wow. So they can't use the pools either. And I was like, I guess that's better than oh, you can only use that pool because that would be the <laughs> colored pool, you know exactly. what I mean, or the gay pool. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess it's better to just completely exclude them and treat them like crap. So for not even for a second would they think. You belong here. This may be your address, but you don't but belong you, here. But you don't belong. Yeah. Um, but also the fact that the that the actual entrance is on a side street. Like they didn't even <laughs> even make it like two a doors nice that were kind of near each other. Like we have to literally like hide them in mm -hmm. off a side street. But also, I was just in New York City last week. I grew up in New York City. Like, isn't New York City supposed to be about everybody? You know what I mean? The rich people get on the subways just like the poor people do. So this seems no, so not against, anymore. not anymore, they're not, now they have those fans. They got the, they got the <laughs> they Uber, got, they, they got the, they do. The, not the Uber X, what's the fancy Uber? They got the good Uber. The, the, the Lyft? Would you, I, I just take the X, I don't know. <laughs> but, but my point is that this is, New York, it's like we are this big mix of everything. And this is just an idea that's just ripping people apart. Well, that, that's the beauty, right? So now the rich people who live in this apartment building, they're going to be bumping in the poor people all day long, except for that uh, two minute walk up to their apartment when they get in the front door. I mean, I'm, by the way, I'm sure there's going to be a janitor who works there and a doorman who's not going to be as rich as them. So they're going to have to bump into poor people a little bit. A yeah. little bit though, but at least those are like employed, clean we, yeah, poor people, clean, you poor know, people. and hopefully they'll install a separate elevator or at least just say <laughs> you can't take the elevator at all if you're one of those poor right, ones, right. you know, because that's gross. Should we have any sympathy for the developer here who in his mind was probably going, I want to, I could just make a small building for rich people, but I'm gonna use this law. Again, devil's advocate today, man. Wow. But you know what I mean? He's going, but I'm gonna at least use this law to make a bigger thing and at least get these people in here. 
Right, but I'm Should sure there there's some any, tax benefit. I'm sure there are well, benefits. Well, he's making, he's able to sell he's more able, units. He's able to sell more units, but I'm sure there are other benefits as well yeah. for him financially. So you don't get any sympathy for you, poor yeah. doors. And I'm, I'm sorry. No yes. sympathy for That's poor like, doors. No.